The title of our next presentation is Friends with Benefits, Exposing the Synergy Between Cancer Stem Cells and Blood Vessels and Brain Tumors. Please welcome Monica. Glioblastoma, or GBM, is a rare disease in comparison to the frequency of other cancers. However, despite current therapeutics, they are uniformly fatal brain tumors, with the average survival of only about 12 months after diagnosis. There is a myriad of reasons why this is the case. One reason is that there exists a population of cancer stem cells, which contribute to post-treatment recurrence by resisting therapy and repopulating the tumor. Another reason why GBMs are so fatal is because there is a high density of blood vessels for a solid tumor, which promote tumor survival by providing oxygen and nutrients. If I take a fixed human GBM biopsy and I stain for blood vessels and stem cells, what I find is that these two are in remarkable close proximity. And in fact, I can recapitulate this phenomenon in a culture dish. And again, what you can appreciate is that the green cancer stem cells decorate nearly every segment formed by the cells that comprise blood vessels, otherwise known as endothelial cells. Now, it is already known that endothelial cells help cancer stem cells to survive. My research aims to determine the effect that brain cancer stem cells have on endothelial cell function and subsequent blood vessel formation. I also aim to elucidate a possible mechanism by which these two cell types interact. Because I hypothesize if we can disrupt this compact adjacency, if we can interrupt the interplay, then we may be able to help diminish blood vessel formation in order to curb tumor growth. And so through my research, I discovered that this direct interaction helped enhance endothelial cell migration, which is a key process in the generation of blood vessels. And it also activated and promoted the survival of endothelial cells. But importantly, I was able to determine a mechanism by which these cells interact. And if I establish brain tumors in mice and treat them with a peptide that can weaken the cell-cell interaction by disrupting this mechanism, what I found was that there was an increase in the distance between stem cells and blood vessels, a decrease in blood vessel surface area, and notably, a decrease in tumor volume. I firmly believe that this research continues to highlight the importance of studying cell-cell communication in a tumor microenvironment with the ultimate goal of providing better and more effective therapeutic interventions for patients who suffer from brain tumors. Thank you.